Okay. Good morning. Welcome to the morning session. So yesterday and for the last several days, we have been discussing about happiness, the sources of happiness, whether we see happiness as our innate nature or are we trying to get it from outside as an external influence. We also briefly talked about prosperity. Yes. So um, yesterday we had um, sort of given this task or this um, we had asked to explore something for um, for the whole day yesterday to reflect on a couple of things and um, one of them was that when you avoid meeting or talking to another person, do you feel comfortable or uncomfortable with them? Because this question had come up about, is it okay to be avoiding somebody so that we don't get disturbed? If we think that somebody is disturbing us, we tend to avoid talking to that person, meeting that person. And the question that we had to reflect on was, at such a time, do we feel comfortable or uncomfortable within us? What we'll do is we'll um, start with this recap of what we have heard in the five-day workshop also about our basic aspiration and the fulfillment of that aspiration, right? So this, you know, I think uh, we have gone through this uh, several times and I think this is uh, something that is quite familiar with everybody. So we'll go a little faster here. That our basic aspiration is for continuous happiness and prosperity. I think we have already discussed this, that we all do want to be happy and we want to be happy all the time. If we ask ourselves, is there any time in the day that we want to be unhappy, we'll find there is no such time in the day that we want to be unhappy or we want to not have feeling of prosperity. But it may be right now that we are not always happy and we do not always feel prosperous. There may be times when I try to accumulate for myself and not share. So at that moment, I can see that I am not feeling prosperous. There may be a time when I am feeling disturbed and I can see that I am unhappy. So we also discussed this, that happiness is to be in a state of harmony. And prosperity is the feeling of having more than required physical facility. So if there is any specific question regarding this, then we will take it. What I'll do is uh, maybe we can lower the hands. From before, there were only a couple of hands. We can lower those hands. And um, then see if Yes, Parmeshwar ji, any question regarding this? Okay, we'll um, come to the questions in a bit. So our basic aspiration is for continued happiness and prosperity. And we also spoke of how we can get there, how we can have this continuity of happiness and prosperity. 
is by living in human consciousness. That is by having right understanding and right feeling within the self and having sufficient physical facility. Those are the three things that are required, isn't it? So this transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness, when our focus shifts from just physical facility to the feelings of relationship to the right understanding within the self, this transformation to human consciousness, this can be ensured through human education and sanskar. This is what we discussed in the workshop. It's just a recap of that. And this is what uh, we can see in this chart also. That ultimately all these three things are required for us. There is, you know, we need to have right understanding in the self. We need to understand the relationship with other human beings. And we also need physical facility. We also need to see the relationship with the rest of nature. Only then can we have this continuity of happiness and continuity of prosperous, prosperity. And only then can we help others also be happy and be prosperous. So first we have to try to see it within ourselves. Then we can go about trying to help others. If we are trying to help others without really trying to ensure this within ourselves, then we may not be successful. And then we are getting disturbed. Again, that is a sign of our lack of competence because we are not able to sustain that feeling of happiness within. Isn't it? We are getting disturbed. So first and foremost, we work on our own competence. We work on having the right understanding within ourselves, seeing our relationship with other human beings, and also having physical facility and seeing our relationship with the rest of nature. As we become more and more competent, then we can help others also. The outcome of that will be that we will naturally want to share our understanding with others. We will naturally want to share our physical facility with others. So this movement from animal consciousness to human consciousness, this transformation is possible. It is doable. And we are on this journey. We have been on this journey for a while. Some of us have just joined. Some of us are there from before, but we are all on that same path. We are all exploring this and we are all trying to move completely from this animal consciousness to human consciousness. And this is where this role of education and sanskar comes in. So yes, it is our basic desire to be happy and prosperous in continuity. But we may have started from the animal consciousness where we thought physical facility was everything or physical facility was most important in our life. But now we can see that if I don't have the right understanding and I don't have I don't see my relationship with other human beings also, then, you know, I am not even able to understand how much physical facility I need. So no matter how much I accumulate, it may still not be sufficient for me because I don't know my need. If I have a cup that is without a bottom and I keep trying to fill water in it, it will never be full, isn't it? 
because it is all falling through. Similarly, if I don't understand how much I need, I keep trying to put more and more, accumulate more and more without knowing when to stop. And still I don't feel happy because I don't understand that physical facility and happiness are two different things. Physical facility is there in the world outside, but happiness is a feeling in the self. So if I need to be happy and I need to, if I want to be happy and I want to have this feeling of prosperity, then I have to understand the self, I have to understand the body and through the self and the body, I can understand other selves and I can understand the material world. So ultimately this right understanding and with that right understanding, this relationship in the self, this is required. Only then can I shift from unhappiness to happiness. Only then can I shift from feeling of deprivation, trying to exploit and deprive others, trying to haggle with somebody, you know, somebody who's selling bananas at the roadside. Then I will stop haggling with that person for one rupee and two rupees because I will see that I have enough. And slowly like this, we transform. Ultimately, we move towards that state of human consciousness where all of these three are there, but we have set our priority. Our focus has shifted from physical facility to right understanding. And with that right understanding in the cell, we are able to see our relationships with all other units. We are also able to identify how much physical facility we need. We are able to see that physical facility is required only for taking care of the body. And so with this, we can work towards being happy, being prosperous, and at the same time, helping others also.